a drone swarm. And this is the moment a directed energy high power microwave anti-drone weapon knocks out all 49 of them with one shot. More on that to come. Counter drone developers and manufacturers are fighting to stay ahead of a rising wave of emerging UAV threats. As Russian drone violations of NATO airspace highlight the need to get ahead, an explosion of technological advances on the battlefields of Ukraine is being closely observed by the world's military powers. The drone technology and counter drone technology is evolving uh, extremely rapidly. Every two weeks, new changes uh, are identified in the, in the battlefield. The drones will start flying at different frequencies, or there are different uh, ways of flying those drones, uh, different models of drones. So you can also see here, uh, every time we do an exercise, we see a new set of drones is brought up. So the evolution is there, and we see it, and we need to be able to track it. Uh. So what's the latest tech out there? Let's start with that drone swarm taken out by a single shot. It's called the Leonardus Directed Energy High Power Microwave Anti-Drone Weapon. It takes its name from a Spartan king who held off a Persian invasion with a vastly inferior force. The weapon uses long pulse microwave beams to burn out the electronics of small drones. It's software driven can take out hostile drones and can be programmed to set up no-fly zones that allow friendlies to pass. It can also sustain continuous fire without overheating and of course take out swarms in one go. Now a different approach. This is Saab's Nimbrix High Precision Short Range Anti-Drone Missile. Saab says a small battery of 9 or 12 missiles can decimate a small drone swarm at a distance of 2,000 meters in a matter of seconds. Future missiles will have a kill range of 5,000 meters. The missile is said to be cheap to deploy and immune to jamming helping air defences avoid being overwhelmed by swarms of cheap drones sent to deplete an enemy's ammunition in advance of further strikes with more powerful weapons. Then there's this, the Photon Interceptor Drone. It's equipped with gun systems and automatic target tracking. It can carry up to six barrels and fire them simultaneously or in sequence. This war between drones and counter-drone technology, the drones all, will always have some advantages uh, because they have the initiative, they can uh, change quickly. The counter-drone technology, they will have to wait for that change to happen so then they can uh, change as well. So the evolution of the counter-drone technology is probably more costly than the evolution of the drone because you have always have to catch up with these uh, threats into a very short period of time. But defending against drones isn't all about high-tech solutions. Fibre optic drones trailing spiderweb thin umbilical control cables that can't be intercepted by electronic warfare are being used by both Ukraine and Russia, but they may soon fall foul of a new device. This piece of Ukrainian innovation is designed to ensnare and break fibre optic cables trailing from Russian drones. The stretched out concertina wire spins, slicing through any fibre optic cables and cutting off contact with the operator. Stuart Rumble, BFBS Forces News. Thanks for watching. For more from BFBS Forces News, like and subscribe to our channel.